YouTube, what is going on today, guys? It is Mike here, and I'm bringing you guys all a brand new YouTube video today. Today is day 111, week 16, guys. Uh, and yesterday night and today have been very great days. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm just going to kind of go through my day. I know I can't really take the camera with me. Um, well, I can't take the camera with me. I just kind of forget. I kind of leave it upstairs. I need to bring it around with me more and just kind of capture a little bit more throughout the day. Um, but last night, uh, I told you guys that I had family coming over. Uh, it was my brother-in-law, my sister, and actually my nephew's birthday all this week. And uh, we had a lot of family come over. And during that first part, I felt very sick. I felt, and I told you guys after I did the sauna, I felt very sick. I felt very, um, just kind of incoherent. Uh, I kind of, I said hi to like all my family. I said hi, and then I, I went and laid down um, for about 30 minutes. Uh, and then kind of got back up. Um, went and hung out with my family a little bit more, which was pretty crazy because I just, you know, I felt so, I've been feeling so crappy for like a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, hung out with them and then my mood kind of shifted when they left. Um, I felt a lot more awake. I felt alert. I felt um, just kind of a little bit better when I was around people. And it, that was kind of a weird thing because I've never really had that before. So anyways, I'm gonna fast forward to the next morning. Uh, I went to sleep around 11.30. Woke up about 8 o'clock in the morning today, so I'm definitely waking up earlier. Uh, it's only about, it's about 6 o'clock right now, just so you guys know. Uh, but I woke up at 8 o'clock. Um, you know, I was up, I was alert, I was very just kind of ready for the day. I did Q Fever uh, and the Rick TCA today and the detoxification, took a sauna. I actually got really sick in the sauna again. I actually, my stomach felt really bad again. Um, and I've been taking more probiotics, by the way. Uh, I'll get you guys that brand. And if anybody like wants to really know the brand, just leave a comment and I'll just get back to you guys on it. I think it's just a Walmart brand that I'm using, but uh, yeah, so anyway, so I started kind of doing my day and then my grandma actually gave us her old computer today. Uh, and I love computers, I love working on computers. Uh, I'm like a nerd and a jock type of thing. But I, I worked on the computer today. I actually needed a disc for it because I was wiping the hard drive. So I went to Dollar Tree with my mom. Uh, and when I was driving there, I felt very calm, very relaxed. And I just, I felt like I just wanted to go. Um, I went into Dollar Tree. I actually went into a store today. Uh, which was kind of a kind of a big deal because I haven't I haven't really gone into a store or anywhere because I've been so Just you know when I walk around I'm fatigued. I'm just not really coherent when I'm in there uh, But very good. I just yawn a lot. I've been I, every time I go somewhere. I just yawn repeatedly um, I don't know what that is or what that entails. Maybe it's a stress thing. Maybe just you yawn when you're stressed out um, went in a dollar tree was totally cool like I was just like in my house right now I should have brought the camera. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I didn't bring the camera with me But I was so calm today I couldn't even believe how amazing I felt just going in there and just confidence and in the Dollar Tree is not that far It's about the same distance as the Walmart um, Which was amazing because I was just I was just purely relaxed and just was focused on what I needed to do uh, got home got the disc uh, and just going out and just kind of talking with family and friends and just kind of letting myself out again uh, really is just such a blessing because I feel, I don't feel when I go out and I come home, I feel super stressed out anymore. I don't have that anymore where I, I just need to take a day or two. I'm talking like going to Walmart. It took me a day or two to relax and just bring my stress levels down. And that was something that was really hard because I just, I would be so stressed out. These two, I don't even know what these are. These things would be bulging out. Um, from just overstressed, um, just and I never really had acne from it either. I, you know, I've had acne from the rifing, which is amazing. Oh yeah, that honker right there. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just been amazing how I've been able to just remain calm when I go out in public. Um, and we'll just see in the remaining, you know, the months and the years that kind of come with this. Uh, and it's just a huge because a lot of people just don't know about the rife machine. And I, you know, I just do this YouTube video for you guys to know that there, there is somebody doing it that you guys can see on the daily. Cause I didn't see anybody doing this. I didn't see, I, you know, you got Brian Rosner who wrote the book, um, you know, and he does his own thing, but you know, people need to see, you know, actual updates every day. And I don't think I saw a single person doing that every single day. And I've been trying to stay very, um, upbeat and doing that because a lot of people love to see progress they love to see people talking about it and you know i think that's something that i bring to the table that no other youtuber is even doing if not if somebody is point me to them i'd love to talk to them 
but it's just amazing how you know that that's been able to be a calming thing and you know it, don't get me wrong I'm not gonna be a hundred percent you know I'm gonna try and go to church tomorrow and see how I can react and just if the days get even better and better uh, and just kind of keep the momentum of going out and just feeling better and feeling more calmer and that's that's something that happened yesterday night and today which is amazing because you know I, I do miss going out I think just the endorphins and just I felt very happy going out you know I don't feel very cooped in the house type of struggling so but we'll see what happens tomorrow I'll keep you guys updated as always um, but I hope you guys are all having a great July 4th weekend I hope you guys are all being safe out there um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow any questions you guys have like I said hit me in the comment section just be, make sure to like comment or subscribe uh, don't be afraid to share this to people make sure that people know um, what's going on with Lime and the Rife machine and just the kind of progress I've made so anyways guys I leave that with you guys today and I hope you guys have a safe weekend I will talk to you guys tomorrow take these guys bye bye